competitions for this weekend? Well, so far it looks like the Kelly Moss number 15 with a very quick young man named Prio. Uh, his father obviously is Andy Prio, who's quite well known in sports car circles. Uh, they also have another young guy, a Dutch guy, that's a sort of a standout in prototype racing. So uh, I think those will be the basic competition for time in qualifying. For racing, I think they've got kind of a, a tough road because Lee has just so much more experience than they have. I think they have to have a really perfect race to get through this without Lee getting past somehow. Lee, of course, is going to put pressure on those two kids. So he has a very fun task. So he'll be the guy putting the pressure on these young guys. Lee, you want to tell me who Turbo was? A really good dog. We were poor in seats last night until 11 o'clock at night. Insane. I never had it before. I think I'm going to be kicking myself for the past 15 years I never did it. <laughs> it just wraps around, it's custom molded to your body, it wraps around you. Day one. See ya. Have fun. It's a big day. Practice, quality, race one, all in one day. Looking forward to it. do it as fast as I can, but I'm going to have to go a little bit easy on the outlap in the first flyer on the brakes. Okay. The team car is way back there. Yeah, I saw that. I guess we plan on stopping the pit lane or blocking you guys. Probably. Calculate the brake wear. So with me, it's, it's 0.16 millimeters per lap here of front wear. Wow. The rotors go about 190 laps, that's it. That RST3 is like the new hot sprint oh, band. so that's the serious fucking straight up in the sky. Yeah, exactly, the, the torque curve like this. The 19's the one we used to have to stand the brake pedal with both feet, yeah. and it still wouldn't slow no, the car up. of course up. not. You'd have to hit someone to slow down. Right. <laughs> one minute, Lee, one minute, and fire one up. Minute. I'm still pushing. That's what I thought he said. Yeah. But... Nice job, buddy. Pretty good. Of course, the Dutch, Dutch kid is one tenth behind you. I think the front is more of a problem. Okay. If I could, if I could get it down into those corners, okay, better. better. Case okay, so is still eighth. Better than seventh. You never want to be seventh. Fun. You ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm ready to watch you kick some ass. Remember, yeah. just keep it safe yeah. out there. It's the first kill. one. That's Hunting right. Kill. That's Hunting right. Season. I'll see you over there in a minute. It's a pleasure being part of this. Thing. Yeah, thank you. It's awesome. Man. Go kick some ass, all right? Yeah, thanks. I'll try to catch up to the hunting bag, all right? I'll be looking for you. <laughs> Got a... Basically, their lap times, we see the gap between the, uh, the next person for position, 
Um, their sector times, there's three sectors, so we can see how well they're doing in each sector, um, whether or not they're in the pits, and then what car is retired or stopped or in the pits. So Lee Keen's awesome. It's really cool to have somebody of his caliber in the series. Carrera Cup North America with Lee Keen for the 311 RS Motorsport on his right hand side in the bright red 992 Carrera Cup car. Good jump from Prio further back down the road. Yeah, Lee got jumped on the start a little bit there. Yeah, he got jumped. He yeah, got jumped so pretty far. bad. Even though I'm afraid by cars coming through, that looks like Kai Van Berlo going down the inside. Riley Dickinson was in there as well, and the team Hardpoint EBM car, he's gone through into second. Super run to the sharp end of the field from Dickinson. Prior had such a big gap there, going into turn three. Tom Christensen pulled it, Jeremy, that he actually took a really wide line. He didn't have to worry about someone coming up the inside. Job one done. I suppose you'd say job two done, actually. But Prior got the board position and has now eased himself in to a little bit of a lead that he can defend. Sponsored by the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> and he's sort of sideways, sort of not. He's hit the barrier. Oh, oh dear me. Nice, nice pass, Ryan. Good job, good job. Field, the Multimatic driver in the Multimatic, the Multimatic liveried car is Seb Prio, and he leads handily by a second and some. He might be, I think he'll be getting a little bit of a talking to by the. Perfect start to the season, fastest in the pre-season test, pole position and a win for Sebastian Prio through in second, his teammate Kai van Berlo, Lee Keen for 311 RS, goes through in third, but plenty of talking points there Jeremy, not least the pace at the front of the field by the youngsters, Lee Keen, the, uh, the sole non-junior driver in the top eight. Podium. It was three uh, position three for Lee and position nine for Ryan. So they both did a fantastic job. We'll tweak on the cars tonight, get them better, and uh, take it to them for tomorrow's race. That was fun. <laughs> First career tough race. Woo. There's a lot of action out there. Turn 17, last lap. As we were riding the bumps, my car bounced over. He was keeping it tight. We got a little rub, but uh, we both moved on, so I'll deal with that. Then he drove. I mean, that car got some serious air. Yeah, dude. He doesn't understand. That He's got to get the stick sweet. all the way back and the throttle I mean, down. When you... Dude. <laughs> Sponsored by Dukes of Hazard. Just <laughs> <laughs> Lee Keen coming home in third place here today. Good podium for the team. I learned a lot about the car throughout race stint. So fuel load, tire wear, things like that. So I think we can tweak on it a little bit more. Uh, the two guys up front are really fast. Um, so, you know, first race, podium. Yeah, pretty happy. Mayhem was happening in front of me left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so I was just avoiding it. Yeah. yeah little, first race got, done. Got a little rubbing out there. Did you? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Pretty simple, man. When Lee Keen tells you he needs you to go pick up an enormous designer plastic light up bunny, you don't ask questions. <laughs> Lee Keen is a discerning gentleman. He uh, appreciates the finer things in life. He's got uh, a keen eye for design, I guess no pun intended. 
You know, this is perfect for me. I think cleaning is good for the soul. Helps me stay relaxed. Cars look good. In the States, you know, you go on the green, but in Europe, I think the person in first place just goes whenever he wants to, and then the people behind just have to respond. So I think those guys are used to, to doing it European style. which he couldn't uh, hold on to his starting position yesterday and a change for the lead immediately oh my goodness me that was a really quick strike from Kai Van Berlo it's going to be suffering from push aerodynamic understeer oh oversteer for the 38 that's Dylan Murray he was right up in the second group oh. <laughs> straight line speed it seemed Jeremy down the back straight last time around Parker had closed right up to him and Riley had disappeared in front of them and Riley has now pulled out a decent gap to the two that are fighting for what is fourth position and I wonder if Lee's just struggling let's have a look at him through turn 16 onto the back straight it's a decent enough run now I was if he was just struggling for rear grip a little bit and not getting the drive off the corners but he certainly last time around uh, lost some time to Riley Dickinson oh. Oh. Damn. Riley Dickinson he went back out Kingsley again over Sebastian Prio in second position Ryan uh, Riley Dickinson he's just turned his best lap off the race in third position and then there's battle for fourth between the Keen and Parker Tops which is keeping us interested the all red number 12 of Lee Keen sitting at the moment in fourth position for that 311 RS motorsport team and then JDX is part Parker Thompson red white grey car going down towards turn seven at the moment very aggressive looking car this new 992 Carrera Cup machine making its competition debut here at Sebring in the IMSA paddock a reflection of how important this market is to Porsche not only for street cars but for race cars as well Two laps before mine. Yeah, I saw him. Uh, he was he really was like, close. Uh, he almost tagged you. Yeah. And then he went wide, then he backed off. Uh, and 
I think Riley had the same issue too. It looked like we were all nursing at home. I didn't know. I was so happy to see the white flag. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, a guy spun in turn 17 right in front of me. And oh, yeah. it came, well, not right in front of me, but as I was coming through, he was just finishing his spin. It was like. Oh, oh really? Right yeah. It was nasty. Like T bone, close to T bone oh, thing? Not close, but it, it, it would have happened. But I saw it, it happened, and so I picked a side. Thankfully, it was the right side. Yeah. Good first weekend, boys. Yeah. We're yeah. Doing Good this. job, you guys. <laughs> Thank you both. This yeah. is fun. Yeah. Did you have one yesterday? Thank you all for coming. Awesome job. First time. Thank you. First time. Okay. We'll take it. What was your first break?